What's up, everyone? How's it going? Figured I would do a uh, just a quick uh, random video um, as we watch subscriber count get up to uh, 300,000. What's up? I'm going to get the, the chat out here. I figured I would do kind of like a, a poster video. Wow, the, uh, the subscriber count just went down. How funny is that? How's it going? Yeah, we haven't really done a, a live stream on a Thursday, but uh, we will be doing the the regular live stream on Friday. But you know, I figured I would. Uh, what the hell? It's going down. <laughs> We're losing people. It was just at nine seven uh, nine seven two. Everyone on sub. That's a good one. How much time do I think it will take? Probably like, I, I've been watching it, I mean, no more than like 30 minutes. Probably more so, um, probably, it'll probably accelerate a little bit quicker. That's funny. I should have known, I should have known better. By the way, if you guys haven't joined up on my uh, Discord server, you, you should, we have uh, a bunch of people here. You can self-assign yourself as like a, a full stack dev or a front end developer. You see it's 238 people online. Um, I'm always idling in here in the Discord server, so make sure you check that out and join up. It's in the description in YouTube. And I figured, <laughs> you guys, and I figured I would uh, try to do something I haven't done in quite a while, which is just some sort of illustration based slash like poster design or something. Uh, something like like topography based, like I, uh, I don't know, maybe 300k or something, and just see how bad I suck. And we're just gonna watch the subscriber count, I guess, go down. So that's awesome. All right, that's funny. I'm here in Photoshop just because I want to be able to have like the full. The full possibility uh, of doing whatever I want, which Photoshop really gives us that with uh, raster-based images. So I just I thought it would come up with maybe some sort of cool, interesting, just typographic-based poster. I uh, as we wait here. Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna adjust the artboard size, canvas size rather. Um, maybe I'll. I'll, I'll I'll move this over so we can see the chat as well. So hold on a second. Let me get this fixed first. Uh, height, maybe more like 12. There we go. Proceed. There we go. Now it's a little bit more in line. Let's move this over. I think people are just having fun trolling me and testing out. Um, <laughs> the live gal by it subscribing and subscribing. All right, uh, let me go to images, adjust canvas size. We'll go to um, maybe 20. All right, let me adjust that again. Is there an artboard tool here in Photoshop? I haven't used it in a while. Make this a little bit easier. There we go. All right. What do you mean? What happened to Corsetro? Don't tell me my site's down. Um. Let's see here. I think what I'll do is. All right. Maybe I'll go for a, a, a darker background. Maybe I should hide this so people stop trying to unsubscribe to see the number adjust. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. I. Uh, Let's see here. What do I want to do? I, I, I honestly went into this not having any clue of what I want to do in terms of a concept. One thing I just came up with is, uh, you know what? I'm hiding it. All right, stop it, you bastards. <laughs> I think you, one thing I came up with in my mind is uh, the concept of, uh, I'll, I'll bring it back in a little bit, but don't worry, um, is I. Uh, 300 the movie, you know, I had that cool type 300 movie poster. 
Images. Yeah, I had this uh, font. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll do something like, like a play on that. So 300, um, 300, let's see, 300 movie, no, 300, yeah, movie font. I wonder if there's a similar font to that. Oh, I'm, I'm sure there is. Movie gallery font. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's not too similar. No, oh, that's just for uh, that. Yeah, never mind that. This is actually not too bad. What I could use is some blood spatter brushes, and we'll work that in. So let me download this. And install it real quick. I'll install. Don't worry, guys. I'll bring back the chat in a second, along with the subscriber count. Hopefully, it's beyond 970 now. I'm sure it won't be. I'll probably be like 940. Um, what is this one? All right, we'll install that too. I'm installing it on the monitor so you can't see it. All right. Um, let's get this out of here. What's up, guys? Okay. 969. People are still subs <laughs> subscribed. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, what was that called? Adam? There it is. kind of ugly um, I think I can make it work though let's give the background something like a, a dark black oops um, let me go to my where's my layers at window layers I didn't want to do that there we go don't worry I'll make this look cool we're just starting out here 970. Use Montserrat. I know, right? Uh, I'll, I'll work Montserrat in here. Um, now, do I have blood spatter brushes? Let me see. Um, I don't think I do. I have clouds. Wait. Yes, I do. I do have blood spatter. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so um, 974. Yeah, you know, it might help to make this red. This is way too large, by the way. Um, I'm gonna experiment with these brushes. These are massive, by the way. That's, that looks stupid. Um, yeah, I know what I'll do, don't worry. All right. Um, yeah, you're hidden for a second. Hold on. Oh, I know what I want to do as well. Um, we'll keep this here for a second. Don't worry. You can't even see anything. I'm not leaving it like that. I'm going to go back to Google. Um, where are we at? And I'm going to do a search for like rock texture. I'm going to go to images, Google. We're going to go to rock texture and I'm going to sort by tools, usage rights, labeled for reuse with modification. Also, we're going to make the size large, larger than, um, yeah, two megapixels. And I'm just going to look for like a sort of like a, a rock background. Um, some of these could work. I'm just, I'm just looking. I like this one. Um, let's see if there's anything else that I like real quickly. Oh. Let's uh, open link in new tab. Please tell me I don't have to sign up. Nope, not doing that one. 
Um, screw it. I'll use that one I saw earlier. What's that sub subscriber count at? It's at 975. Oh. Listen, if you're unsubscribing just to, to see the uh, the subscriber count, make sure you resubscribe. Don't forget, damn it. I don't want to lose subscribers over this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to copy this one. Here's the chat. What's up, guys? Good, huh? Amon? That's not cool. All right. Um... Let's let's I uh, let's paste that in here, and then we'll adjust the size, and then we'll adjust because um, that looks like crap. Obviously, hold on. Images adjustments. I am doing this destructively. I don't really care. I'm not going to use this again. We're going to desaturate it, and then we're going to take the opacity down maybe polarize the hell out of it uh, we'll take this and change the blend mode real quick mm. I'm just going through it these I, I kind of like that maybe I'm gonna experiment with different ones also go come back to this one We'll go to images. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to use? Brightness and contrast. There we go. A little bit better. Images adjustments. We'll go to. Uh, Hmm. What do I want to do? We'll go to levels. I want there to be a lot of uh, contrast with the foreground elements. So I think right there is pretty cool. Okay. Um. All right. So three hundred. I think we're going to work in the YouTube button, like little play button logo in here somehow. Um, let's get another layer. I should be using my uh, Wacom Cintiq drawing monitor for this, but it's it's not really set up. So to, to, re, to record at least. That 300 looks kind of stupid though. I, I need to fix that. Let's try 2000 for this. Just trying to see where it would make sense to work in some of these. There we go. I think I like that one. Um, unsubscribe all right anybody who says unsubscribe gets gets uh, blocked from the chat how about that <laughs> I'm kidding you bastards let's see here um, trying to figure out where I want to position this I think we need something up here Should've put that on a different layer, damn it. Now what can I do with this type to make it better? Don't really don't really like it. Um, it's a crappy font. Might as well add the K on here. Maybe I'll add, um, what else will I add? 
let's do a um, a gradient 990 and we'll do a radial gradient from the center going from foreground to transparent don't worry it's gonna look bad at first yeah that looks horrendous but I, I want to try to emphasize the middle parts maybe so change the opacity here I mean change the blend mode that might be a little bit too much that was probably a bad idea you gotta try things though nine nine three Um, all right, let's, uh, let's try working with the type or um, maybe I'll do an outer, no, a drop shadow, change the angle here. Opacity just, yeah very barely possibly and I think I need some sort of texture inside the 300k because it just looks stupid as is right there and um <clears throat> hmm what kind of texture would work I wonder if there's some sort of like a uh, guts blood and guts texture I could find on uh, let's see here <laughs> oh I should, probably shouldn't be showing this stuff I forgot yeah that would be messed up uh, get some like gore on here um, trying to think of the type of tech you know I'll just use the rock texture I'm going to go back to doing that again. Settings. Labeled for um, reuse with modification. Size. Let's try that one. I, I cannot believe people are just unsubbing like this. I should have known better. Um, let's see. Rasterize type. All right. Um, rasterize layer style. There we go. I'm looking at the subscriber stuff. That's why I was like a little bit blank. Um, don't worry. I'm not leaving it like this. Um, Here we're getting close. <clears throat> Hopefully this doesn't somehow screw up like the algorithm and in terms of like YouTube people and subscri I'm subscribing and stuff. I would that would that would be a backfire. That would really suck. I think what I can do possibly um, let's see here. We'll take the uh, eraser tool. Oh, 300,000. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. Nice. Thanks a lot, guys, for being subscribers. How awesome. Hey, thanks a lot for the super chat. I hope to get to, you know what, I hope to get to 500,000 by the end of the year. I think that would be pretty, uh, possibly doable. Plus, I, I um, my channel, we, um, I, 
yesterday's UI, the free UI course that I released, is like the single video. It's, it's never I had never had a video that did that well to get almost ten thousand views in twenty four hours. So I'm kind of excited about that. And, and don't worry, we are going to um, get the uh, um, what do you call the front end development course. So I have a lot of course based content being planned for this year. Um, a few of the courses that I'm thinking of doing, um, of course, is the front end development course, like for beginners, that's where like, I'm gonna assume people don't know HTML and CSS. Uh, and we're, we're gonna do that UI design, the mock-up that we created from yesterday's video and make that a reality in the browser, browser and make it responsive and a tad bit of JavaScript I'll work in there just to introduce people to it. Then um, I will probably do a, uh, a JavaScript course itself, um, uh, which will be, quite robust and um, after that I'm trying to think of what else I'm gonna cover there's a lot more I might even get into WordPress being that 5.0 just released um, maybe for a video or two but I uh... oh and, and three I you know I actually did touch 3d for a while um, early like four years ago in this channel I did blender but I wanted to come back to 3d at least as it pertains to like working in 3d with UI design I don't you know, early in this channel's history, I was all over the place. I covered Adobe After Effects. I, I covered Unity game development. I covered, what did I cover? I covered a bunch of just random 3D. And what I found is like, when you have a channel, a YouTube channel like this, you don't want to spread yourself so far in terms of your content. You have to try to be niche focused as possible um, when it comes to this type of content, like edu education based content, unless of course you have like an amazingly great personality and your, your content is so engaging that just people want to watch it no matter what, because what ends up happening is I have, you know, I, I had a lot of, I have a lot of subscribers, but there's maybe 30,000 of my subscribers subscribed to me because they were interested in 3d content and, and learning how to, to do like blender and stuff. Um, but then when I upload other content, say for instance, like web design content, those people have no interest because they're not interested in that. So this is just kind of like a tip I'm giving for those of you who maybe want to start your own YouTube channel. Don't spread, don't make the mistake that I did early on. I, up until about like 70 or 80,000 subscribers, I was just all over the place, um, teaching whatever. Don't, don't spread yourself very thin when it comes to you need to, to your content you need to focus on one area and pretty much stay focused in that area as much as possible I'm gonna check out the chat I'm uh, not the greatest poster I thought I would do something uh, just so I wasn't sitting here twiddling my thumbs though I'll go ahead and look at some of these um, these uh, comments docker with WordPress yep I don't have too much experience with docker uh, so I need to uh, I need to hunker down so somebody asked I uh, diffy asked how do you learn all this stuff all by yourself well I can't say it's all by myself technically I mean I get on the internet and I go to Google or YouTube um, or Udemy or plural site all the different education networks and if I, if I really want to teach something that perhaps you know I'm either I either do, know nothing about or I'm fuzzy or I haven't used it in a while of course I'll use these resources uh, and I'll learn from tutorials and then I'll make sure I understand it correctly and then I'll, I'll phrase it in my own and, and produce it in my own manner um, a lot of people say like for instance I uh, some people will say I don't want to get into teaching something on YouTube, even though they may be professional at it, because people are already doing that. And that's completely the wrong mindset. Uh, that's because for one, if you're a student, if you're trying to learn something new, let's say you want to learn Angular or React or whatever, I, you don't just go to one resource or one tutorial and then you're done learning. I mean, you go to multiple, especially if you're starting out with, with a big topic like React or Angular or Vue or JavaScript, you're going to a bunch of, of different content uh, to, to try to learn as much as you can. And then there's different teaching styles. So two people can teach the same thing and a student can gain from both of them. So don't let that hold you back. 
But where is Montserrat? I will get Montserrat in there. We'll put Yay to me here real quick. We'll make it white. There we go. That works. Sweet. I like my channel logo. The channel logo, the three dots, are indicative of um, um, like a carousel type thing, meaning that there's there's more, and two of them are filled, meaning there's more content on the way. It was like an abstract approach uh, to, to, you know, um, solidifying the idea of uh, content, new content always coming. Awesome, Jimmy. Yeah, so, you know, it's all about, you know, I'm, I mean, you're saying for those of you who are beginners, um, I, I'm sort of in your same, the same, the same boat right now, except of course it's not design or code or whatever. It's, it's in guitar. Like I could, I, I played guitar a lot when I was younger. Um, but I came back to it last year for like the last 12 months. I've been playing every night. Um, and there are so many parallels with the struggles that I know a lot of UI designers and, and any designer in general, or even coder, they have at this stage. Um, and there's so many parallels when it comes to like, for instance, learning guitar or learning something, anything that requires a, of like a, a lot of work to master. And I, uh, there's so many parallel parallels. It's, it's not even funny. So I'm glad I mean, I'm in a different industry at least, or a different subject um, where I'm put into that position where um, it's not 100% natural, you know, I don't have a ton of muscle memory. That way I can kind of empathize with, <laughs> with you guys a little bit more because it's been a long time since I've been a newbie, of course, in design. I'm 35, I've been doing this since middle school. So, you know, no matter what, I'm not going to be able to be on your same wavelength, but it helps to understand other people. Um, I, in, in the struggle of being new to something. And the, the solution is, and I, I'm, I'm an older person now, I'm 35. I understand like with the guitar stuff, um, it's the same thing with design or coding you want to get better at. You have to, uh, you just have to practice every, every day or as much as possible. You stick with it. Consistency is the biggest factor I would have to say. Motivation, you can't rely on motivation because motivation, that, that, that's something that's temporary. Motivation leaves every, every now and then, you know, you get excited initially, you have all that inspiration and that motivation, and it makes doing things easy. Like people try to lose weight at the beginning of the year because it's a new year, you know, it's a, it's a new year's goal. But then all of a sudden, once things stop, you know, once the motivation is lost, you just, uh, people quit and it's like, well, you're not gonna get anywhere that way. You know, this is all, it should be something we all understand, uh, but I think in this day and age, uh, with the way parenting is going and participation trophies and all that, kids are they're freaking soft. So you just have to stick with it, no matter what. The payoff, of course, you know, is having a career and, and and doing something that you know, hopefully, you do enjoy doing. But you're not going to enjoy it all the time, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah it's it's one of those things uh you're not always gonna you're not gonna like it i am doing a live stream tomorrow and it's not going to be um a review based live stream it's going to be based on um a project of some sort which is the deal that i have worked out with skillshare um so that's actually what I have to work on after this. I'm going to come up with some sort of hour-ish long project um, and figure it out uh, and figure that out real soon here because that's coming up tomorrow. Probably 11, 11.30, no later than 12 um, Eastern time. Opinion on design awards. You know, I never really had my stuff submitted, so I'm not too familiar with what what exactly there exactly you're talking about like awards like the AWWW awards 
I do have an opinion on design contests, though, like 99 designs. I do have an opinion on that. In fact, I, I did a, a video where I um, talked about that. I recently did uh, a couple tutorials um, and they were sponsored videos uh, on two different tools that help you um, be productive and um, schedule time. So look at my channel through those. One is monday.com and the other one is milanote or milanote, M-I-L-A note.com. Check those out. I'm, I always, I started off as a designer uh, and a core focus of design first. So I'm probably, you know, if you, if you had to compare my, my relative strengths in the two, it would be with design. Awesome. Yes, I will do. The live stream was about the 300K countdown. I, I passed 300,000 subscribers and I did this little quick, <laughs> simple to uh, poster design for it. But I, yeah, I'm going to conclude now. And I, uh, how many people are watching, by the way? Probably not many. I'm looking on my other monitor, by the way. Let me reset this. Yeah, just 160. Um, all right, uh, f for the for the dude who I uh, who I uh, sent a super chat. Thanks a lot. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow around. I don't know. You, I always schedule the uh, the YouTube video, the stream rather, and so you'll get the notification hopefully if you're all subbed up. And if you unsubscribe just because you're messing with the subscriber counter, then make sure you subscribe up uh, again. All right, all right. Thanks, guys. I will see you later. If I can find my software to close the stream out. There it is. All right, see you guys.